Irene at some point, I guess. Sip of luck. Hello everybody, Rella Stand here, and guys, look at this. Uh, this is Man Eater 10X. I am never tempted normally to pull out a 10X because I don't really or I care about the legendaries, but it's at a, a low chance. It's only 0.5% anyways, but Epics is still 8% chance and Man Eater is an insanely good champion. I really don't have man it yet and I really want him for clan boss. So, it's Friday, I don't know if this video will be uploaded on Friday, but it's Friday at least when I pull, and I've got this spear in my hand, so, and I just got home from work, so everything is fine and dandy. And I also got 61 void shards. I don't know if I'm gonna pull every void shard, but we'll see how far we go guys. So I'm gonna take a cheers, take a cheers with me. And we are gonna pull our first. So let's hope that I want to be a man eater, but we are gonna start with blue. We are gonna start with skirmisher. Don't really care about skirmishes that much. And the next one, and it's another rare. And it's the Eviscerator, I think I got a few of these already. Not super exciting. Let's get on with the next one, and it's a blue. So it's gonna be a lot of, oh, Painkeeper is actually a good one. I got the Painkeeper already, but Painkeeper is one of the unkillable sims, or is one of the champions in the unkillable sims. I haven't tried Painkeeper myself yet, but uh, from the comps that I looked at, I noticed that she's in some of them. And I think, I'm not really sure why, uh, because I haven't really checked it out that much, because I am, I'm, I haven't looked in, in the unkillable scene that much yet, because I don't have a man eater. But we'll see. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, okay. Not this one. Inquisitor Shamal is a great champion, apparently. I, I have him. I haven't leveled him up. But he's supposed to do some great damage. So, let's hope that it's a bit nerve-wracking when I get an epic now, because I really want that one uh, epic and we got cold dog. actually this is my second cold dog cold dog have gotten a bit nerfed lately due to the um, you can only do 10% damage to uh, at, uh, stages 21 to 25 but I might actually want to level up a second one for finite anyways because her A1 is still amazing that takes four times each to get the shield off and you can deplete the full turn meter so it's not uh, that unlikely that I will level up another cold heart and here we got the veteran uh, I, I think I got him I don't think I will level him up anytime soon anyways uh, Malvert I don't care about that and we're taking a sip for some good luck and there's skeleton I don't care about that skeleton and where is my man -eater? I want my man -eater. and there is the retainer, I don't care about the retainer. The thing is, it's really depressing to not do this on a 2x, because you get so many rares, so many rares and so few of the other guys. So I got 50 vouchers left at the moment, I've been saving up this for a long time. Because I don't buy short. Okay, uh, I apparently I need me more slots. So guys, give me a second and we will be back. Okay guys, so we are back. 49 shards left. I cleared the space, so this should be enough if I am calculating everything wrong. Seducer, not what I'm looking for. I still really want that manager where we only got one epic so far. So I feel like it's time to get another uh, epic and uh, another mall branch so where is that uh, normally i really want gold but this time well, the lights want a good champion i don't think i need lights one uh, but anyways as, as i was gonna say normally i really want that gold but right now i might want man eater more than any of the void legendary maybe like see if we would uh, I'll class him more like some of the top top. But the thing is, Maniter, I think he might be the best clan boss champion in the game. So that is why you really want him. And he's, uh, he is supposed to be a complete game changer for a fanatic. I don't think I... He was part of the fusion, if I remember right. So I think I got him for the fusion, but then I fused him. So I don't think I have him anymore. 
But uh, at the moment, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, a boar, okay, okay. So another epic, oh, okay. And the new fash, uh, or the new faction. That is actually really exciting. What does she do? She does decrease definitely one. And she got the attack enemy two times. Uh, has a uh, 75, but then she does the old buster on Torium and attacking under a veil of perfect veil. Okay, it's so kind of a counter against Duchess. A free plus increase crit rate, increase damage, and perfect whale, and plus a reva buff on this champion for three turns whenever there is a veil or perfect whale. This might actually be a, a kind of a good champion. You might want to experiment with her at some point, and especially if the faction and crypto, but not some day for them. Paragon, amazing champion for the machine stuff. Uh, I have Paragon to level 30 and uh, he's been a saver for uh, some like in Doom Tower and Spider and everything like that. Bellower, amazing champion, look at that, 7800 reviews. The thing is, I, I'm, I haven't completed Doom Tower hard yet, but I have gotten to like uh, 104 floors plus and I have used uh, Bellower on some of those floors because Bellower in a stun set is insane. It's really, really insanely good. Uh, Daywalker. And now I'm getting a bit nervous because I have pulled. I got only. I got 34 shards left. And I still don't have my man eater. I want that man eater. <laughs> and now I'm starting to feel bad that I don't get that man eater. Uh, but we'll see if we can uh, pull him. And then Renegade. Yeah, I uh, Renegade, it's a uh, good speed uh, or for speed on champion. Drown Blood first, I don't care about you. I only care about Manita more or less now. And there's another Coke Heart. The funny thing is, it took me a long time to get my first Coke Heart. And uh, this session I got my second Coke Heart and my third. So once you get the Coke Heart, it seems like you will get more Coke Heart. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No, Exemplar, god damn it, we only got 28 shorts left. I don't I don't like that I keep pulling short because I was hoping, honestly, this might be a bit naive on my part, but I was hoping to pull like maybe 30 foot short and be done with it. And there's another call, god damn it. I got so many cold cold hearts now. And there's a veteran, 25 left, come on. Where is my man eater? I, the funny thing is I haven't got the other uh, 10x champion either, the, what's it called, the Sky Touch Shaman, I think, the bar Barbarian one. I don't got her and she's actually supposed to be a really good arena champion. I have cleared the Barbarian faction wars but she would be cool to actually use for um, uh, arena at some point I guess. Sip of luck, sip of luck for that beer. Or, the, or is it the beer that makes everything uh, unlucky for me? There's another paragon. A 20 left, come on! Oh, where is my man I was starting to feel real about 19 left, 19 left. Oh, come on! Here is another one. There is a chevalier. So, I. Uh, the thing is, as I mentioned in the beginning, it's really depressing to uh, pull shorts at the 10x event because you get so many rares, so, so many rares. And especially in the voids, uh, don't have as many champions as the other affinities. So you pull the same rares over and over again mostly. Gear grind, actually, I kind of may want to level him up because he got the Rue of a Dead Alley. And I uh, haven't completed the faction wars for that faction yet. So maybe, but oh, 14 left. I don't like this. Am I gonna waste all my shards for this? 13 left. God damn it. This is painful. Bulwark. Bulwark. Great champion, by the way, uh, for Clambos. But I don't need him. Bellower, another great champion. And I got him, and I don't need him anymore. Where is. Oh, there is another fanatic. Another fanatic. Come on. Come on. I'm panicking now. Nine shorts left. God damn it. We pulled like 50 shorts now. A skeleton, come on. I haven't got any of the 10x champions yet. Uh, even though I pulled a few epics. God damn it. Seven shorts. Come on. Shot. Lucky number seven. No. Lucky number six. 
Lucky number six. No. No. Lucky number five. Lucky number five. No. So many rares. Okay. Lucky number four. Lucky number four. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's Ogryn types and Prandar. I got the Prandar. It's supposed to be an amazing champion as well. I haven't leveled him up, but I think we screwed now. It's three left. Three left. Can we get more epics? Can we get another epic? How are specs? Oh, second to last. Second to last. Guys, we got one left. I'm actually gonna move myself all out of the screen. My, my sir, give me one second. I'm actually gonna do it like this. And I think now, look at that. Look at that. The one, the only. Can we do it? Can we do it? No! <laughs> God damn it! All right, all right. Okay, so at the end of the day, this is just a game and you can't be lucky every time and sometimes you... I don't know if it's unlucky to pull 6 or 51 or did I pull 6 or I don't really forgot that. But pull that many shards and not pull any of the 10x champions. But anyways guys, we are gonna see if or how far I got in this uh, summer rush at least. So the good news is I'm getting... At least some legendary books, some chickens and stuff, uh, so that is actually very nice to have. But, guys, sadly, this is gonna be it for the video. I messed up. Badly. <laughs> I don't messed up, but I striked out. But anyways, guys, do let me know how it went for you. And do let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, until next time, as always, stay awesome and take care. Bye.